Assalamu alaikum boys and girls and welcome to Let's Read with Eliza. Hope you're doing well and enjoying the books on the channel and I'd be really grateful if you can like and subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and family. We are reading A Dean Ride with Arabic Numbers today. Now this book has been written by Dr. Neha Qazi and it has been illustrated by Aisa Mutiara. Shall we learn some Arabic numbers, guys? Come on, then. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. A Dean ride with Arabic numbers. Aisha, what makes you sad? I have an Arabic numbers test tomorrow, but I don't know my numbers yet. Adi sits beside his friend, thinking of how to help her. After a minute, he jumps up. I've got an idea, he says. Come with me. What are we doing at an amusement park? Asks Aisha. Look there. Hop on, Aisha. It's going to be fun. Clickety clackety, the roller coaster car climbs a steep track and with a whoosh, it dives down. When the car halts at the first station, both Aisha and Adi climb out and read the information given on the screen. 1. Station Wahid 1. Gaba It is the Qibla, the direction in which Muslims all over the world turn to pray. It was built by Prophet Ibrahim and Ismail and is also called the House of Allah. Magami Ibrahim is the stepstone on which Ibrahim stood while building the Gaba. Can you spot the Magami Ibrahim in the picture? 2. Station Ithnan Two hills of Safa and Marwa. Pilgrims walk seven times between the two hills while performing Hajj or Umrah, replicating the actions of Hajar as she went in search of water. Allah answered her dua by erupting the well of Zamzam water in between the hills. Can you spot the well of Zamzam in the picture? 3. Station Thalatha Three springs of Jannah Zanjibil, Gafur and Tasneem are springs of Jannah from which the believers will drink pure and diluted water, having different tastes. Which spring is Aisha drinking water from? 4. Station Arba'a Four Quls Reciting the four surahs that start with the word Qul protects the believers from evil and keeps them safe from calamities. Recite the surah written on the roof of the house with Adi inside. 5. Station Khamsa Five pillars of Islam. They are the compulsory acts of worship to be performed by all Muslims. 1. Shahada The belief that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his messenger. 2. Salah The five obligatory prayers Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib and Isha. 3. Zakah Giving a part of our earnings to those in need. 4. Psalm Fasting for the sake of Allah. 5. Hajj The Blessed Pilgrimage Read the name of the pillar behind which Aisha is hiding. 6. Station Sitta Six surahs named after the prophets. There are six surahs in the Holy Qur'an named after the prophets, each describing their journey of prophethood. They are Surah Yunis, Surah Khud, Surah Yusuf, Surah Ibrahim, Surah Muhammad, Surah Nuh. Which prophet was swallowed by a big fish? 7. Station Sab'ah 
seven heavens. Miraj is the second part of the miraculous journey of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he ascended through the seven heavens. It was during this journey that the Prophet, peace be upon him, received the precious gift of the five obligatory prayers from Allah. Which Prophet did Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, see in the first heaven? 8. Station Thamania 8. Doors of Jannah Every believer will enter Jannah from one of the eight doors. The name of the doors signify who will enter through them and stay there forever. Read the name of the door that Aisha is standing in front of. 9. Station Tissa Nine angels Angels are pure and noble beings created by Allah. They are made from light and have specific duties to perform. Which angel will blow the trumpet on the last day? 10. Station Ashara 10 animals in the Qur'an Throughout the Qur'an, we are always reminded about the role of animals on earth and how we should treat them with kindness. Which animal is Adi playing with? That was so much fun, Adi! Along with Arabic numbers, I learned a lot about our deen too. Jazakallah for bringing me here. Let me revise the numbers once. Wahid, Ithnan, Thalatha, Arba'a, Khamsa, Sitta, Saba'a, Thamania, Tisa, Ashara. Great job. I'm sure you'll score full marks in your test tomorrow, says Adi. Do you know what, boys and girls? I learnt so many new things today. I learnt my Arabic numbers and I learnt so much stuff about our dean too. Well done, Adi, for helping your friend Aisha. Do you guys know your numbers? Do you guys know the numbers in your language that you speak at home? Do you know them in Arabic? Why don't you practice and share them with your grown-up? Also, there were so many big words in there and so many questions which were answered. You will see at the end of the book a help box with references, which gives us answers to some of the questions. Again, all this stuff can be discussed with your grown-up. Did you learn anything new today? Maybe you can share it with me by sending me an email at letsreadwitheliza at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you, boys and girls. Anyway, I'm going to go now and practice my Arabic numbers again and see whether I can count more than 10 as well. Wish me luck, boys and girls, and I'll see you next time. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>